Greetings and salutations in our existence. It is Iowa Potek, and here we are with the Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 Players Kit. Uh, please, quick notey, Shoti. Uh, there is this is a beautiful box. It is a square style box, uh, unlike the typical Dungeons and Dragons fifth ed fourth edition, fifth edition box. Instead, it's wider, not tall. Wider overall. You see the little extra. And it's a little thicker. So it's, this is one of the thicker boxes of this. Uh, please note that it's missing the dice because I bought this second hand. But this is a very delightful box. Uh, this start. This comes with normally premium D and D dice set, one quick start character creation booklet, one quick start rules summary booklet, one solo adventure booklet, one character sheet. One soft cover D and D player's handbook for Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. The original MSRP for this box is I cannot find it. Uh, they don't have it on here. It's one of those situations where they don't put the MSRP on here. Uh, already, you notice something really interesting with this box. It's uh, yet again, it's not treated so points off but there's still a lot of beautiful artwork i really wish i had that dice set but having multicolor dice is actually less likely to have uh more consistent rules overall this is the insides of the box much like a lot of boxes there's this extra little section on the side that's probably to store you can probably store dice in this little area right here in this box section and not have the bag roll around in here. You have literally a complete, complete player's handbook in this box. A complete soft covered player's handbook for Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. Seriously. They gave you a 318 plus page, page book in your player's kit. Seriously. On the side, they got a little advertisement for the war drums, which have various minis in them. A little advertisement for the player's kit on this side. The, not advertisement, but the artwork for player's kit. You got the monster manual, as well as a little uh, more tossed in there. And you're back to the player's kit again on this side. You have the quick start rules, rules booklet they mentioned on the back of the box. This is a handy dandy, quickie, no, uh, no fuss, no muss, this explanation of how your character operates. In the game, this is the super simple, just the basics, just the basics booklet to get you like taking off of playing a character. You got a short little solo adventure booklet. It's a tiny little book. You just start out in one end, you go to another, and you basically complete through a wee wee tiny adventure on your own so you gain a good understanding of how to play the game in a very short section and then you have a quick start character creation booklet which then walks you through the basics of how to create a character because this whole thing is not merely a typical starter set but it's truly a it gets you right into the game it gets into the game going full force nice little stuff for minis it tells you, it explains the basic mechanics of constructing a character, what you want to do for a basic setup, and gets you going. <clears throat> Here is a, a pull card for the player's kit, which you can mail to Wizards of the Coast. This is the receipt I got from buying it online from eBay. This is the sheet that describes what you get in the box. It's one sided. It 
And then you have character sheets. And this is very all, this is all very basic, straight to the point. There is this is just pure mechanical, no must, no fuss. Character sheets, double sided. So you can build out your characters, your skills. You got your roll, you got your uh, saving rolls. You got your stats. You got your HP and your ACs and stuff like that, and your speeds up here. And you got your attacks over here. And then on the back side, you have your section on your feats, your spells, your special abilities, your other possessions, and your gear. Your languages, as well as your uh, spell slots. And then there's a couple of those sheets. And then for whatever reason, there happens to be this one extra sheet in the back here that's all by itself. That's literally a, an anatomy sheet of... What your loadout is, your backpack, what's in your backpack, you can list out everything, as well as your notes and how many items you have tied into your various uh, weapons or your ranged weapons, like how many arrows, how many have you shot, you know, etc., etc. Your armor, shields, and so forth. This is actually rather delightful. Uh, Wizards of Coast clearly does not make kits like this anymore. Hell, they probably... This is like the one freak incident where they did kind of stuff like this. This is like an example of like, oh wow. This is all really cool stuff. There's no... This is a player's kit. This is for getting a player started in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, I would definitely would love to see something like this again. Yet again, you've got a uh, player's handbook. A complete player's handbook. In with your starter... Or in with your character uh, player's kit. As well as a sheet and instructions of how to play the game. A mini solo adventure, how to cr another booklet with little instructions, an alternate version of explanation of how to build a character. Awesome box. You can use the lid as a dice tray. You can use the base as a dice tray. It has pretty dice that come with it when you if you were to buy it new. I would definitely say that this is like probably the strongest ever. Starter set, beginner box for Dungeons and Dragons in the WotC era ever so far. This is literally like a 4.5 as a player's kit. As a starter set, there's no actual adventure for actual characters. There's no DM screen. However, this is a player's kit. DM screen is not expectation in this. So that's irrelevant. Really is like... You got character sheets, you got a full book, you got multiple instruction booklets, booklets or quick start guides to get you going, and you get dice. The only thing that would like improve this is like, oh my goodness, if they included tokens or minis in this box, which would balloon, in the case of the minis, would balloon the price of the box. If you had to include like the basic fighter, the basic sorcerer, the basic wizard, monk, bard, barbarian. You got like 12 classes right there. There's 12 minis to include in this box to make it perfect. No, uh, that's, 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 that's inflating the price way too much. Uh, this right here is literally like this is a 4.5 right here. If Wizards of the Coast did another one of these in the future, that would be so awesome. The dice, by the way, is just the minimum set. But still, there's so much awesome in this box. That would also be another reason to bump it up like a 4.75. If they literally complete, they had the complete set, let's... Probably a 4.25, considering that it's the limited set of dice, or the bare minimum. 
but that is still amazing for a Dungeons and Dragons starter slash players kit box. You get a whole book, a whole book, a whole book. You get a whole book plus a solo, a mini solo adventure, plus a quick, a quick, uh, a cheat sheet for your basic rules, and you get a character construction sheet, a character correction guide, plus dice, plus character sheets. There's like a few things they could toss in this to get it to the five star mark. But really, just, yeah. This is an awesome set. Awesome. Awesome. It's just sad that Wizards of the Coast doesn't do these things anymore at all. For whatever reason, this was a thing that happened with 3.5 and never happened again as far as I know. So... Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and see you next time. And have a delightful day, a nice night, a wonderful week, and a magnificent month. And yet again, see you next time.